sunrise, new days dawning, and it's calling you and me. Where the mighty Mississippi flows by Memphis, Tennessee, we've got good lands, fields, and water. Hey, there is no a friend, but don't delay. Listen up and learn about it all. Outdoors with Larry Ray. Listen up and learn about it all. Outdoors with Larry Ray. Good Saturday morning and welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray, brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Now, here's your host, Larry Ray. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome to Outdoors with Larry Ray on uh, ESPN 790 here in Memphis, Tennessee, and also in Brownsville. I'm still trying to remember all these call letters, 95.3. 15:20 a.m. in Brownsville on Brownsville Radio, and in Jackson, Tennessee on News Talk 101.5. And remember, those stations are streaming us 24/7. But uh, this is the day that I look forward to uh, every year. It is our turkey show, uh, and it's uh, we got a jam-packed uh, studio here with uh, some of my best friends who uh, uh, have turkey hunted for a long time. I know that we've uh, snuck in a new one and uh, kicked out two other ones, so I don't know. Uh, uh, but it's good to have. Let's go around the horn here with uh, introduce yourself. Uh, the guy with the Razorback shirt, shirt on, bring it over there to him. Good morning, Larry. Well, give me your name and what you do. Steve, Steve Turpin, uh, Turpin Custom Game Calls, and I'm also the um, gun room manager at Sportsman's Warehouse. One of, our, one of our show sponsors and the Turpin Game Calls have been in business for about four or five years. <laughs> Uh, how long is it now? Well, don't give that, Charles. He ain't through yet. Uh, it's I'm about a, 120 years. 120 now. years. I was just a pup when it started. That's what I feel like, <laughs> right? Yeah. Henry Reynolds was living back oh, then. Man, you might have been in high school. Uh, don't. Is, have you been spoken to yet? <laughs> we haven't got to you yet. Oh, all right. Lord. All right. And, of course, the next man in line over there is the mystery guest. Who, what's your name, sir? <laughs> uh, it was Charles Petrie when I left the house this morning. I make a few turkey calls every now and then. <laughs> There he goes. Oh, you didn't. You didn't play your, your wing bone over there. I mean, uh, let's let's hear from Turpin. Have some music there, sir. Yeah. Oh, like that. And the next guy doesn't even need a call. You know, he's just here uh, to join in on the fun. We're glad to have my good friend Steve Reynolds. And uh, Steve, tell us a little bit about uh, what do you do, Steve? Well, right now, Larry, I'm a full-time grandfather. Yes. We have nine grandkids, and I'm having the privilege of uh, passing it forward, the great tradition of turkey hunting to these grand boys and grand girls, and it's a special chapter in my life. Isn't it? I I spent uh, my career working for Baptist Healthcare Corporation and been turkey hunting now I'd say right at 40 years. 40 yeah, years. Actually, our cover boy on the hunting and fishing <laughs> news, Marty Roberts, yes, was the fellow who taught me how to turkey hunt a long time ago, and I've appreciated the lessons learned to field, and I'm trying to pass those lessons on to friends now. Well, uh, Steve, we're glad to have you join our group here. He didn't bring a call but I'm sure we'll coach something out of him a little bit. I've been told by Steve Turpin and Charles Petrie that my best call, Yes. you don't need to have any instrument. You just need to rake the leaves. Oh, there you go. That's uh, that's good. And uh, uh, you could be like uh, Harold Knight uh, and just put that piece of a Johnson grass in your mouth, too. Uh, you know, but we don't want to uh, spoil the business of some of these people here. And then, of course, this being the... Uh, Fourth Saturday of the month, it's hard to believe, that means we've kind of changed things around, but I like it, and we ha- we have the dynamic duo here. 
Yeah, yeah, that's right. John Gordon here. Uh, no Ron Wong with me today, which is uh, unusual, you know. No, no bonus. Well, we Wong. worked, we worked that out. No bonus Wong today. <laughs> no not not Wong. here. John Gordon from Avery. Yeah, that's our correct. good friends down at Avery, and um, John is uh, part of our team on Outdoors with Larry Ray. You can go to the uh, LROutdoors dot com and see the diner and see uh, the people that are in that famous picture we have uh, recreated. And, and your and your name, sir. Bill Cooksey from Vanishing Paradise and the National Wildlife Federation. I'm I'm the kid on the block turkey hunting around here. I've only been doing it about thirty years. Only thirty mm-hmm. years. About okay, thirty years. Let's see. Well, I've been doing it since I I started when I was fifty five, and I'll be seventy five here in about two months, mm. and so uh, twenty years. And uh, Marty Roberts was one of those guys that took me at an old age. Uh, in fact, he took me to Catfish Point to turkey hunt, and there was a young man named Justin Worley that was about 12, and he carried Justin through the swamp, and he made Larry walk through the swamp. I can tell you, I'll never forget that. I walked myself to death. But this is Justin's gonna... a pretty good duck caller, too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he was. And he is, I guess. Now that he's got to be a father and everything, it makes us feel old to see those things. But uh, great to have that Turpin came in with his Razorback shirt trying to make points with me. And he's uh, all right. You don't know that Reynolds is from Arkansas, too. So, yeah. Uh, uh, Little Rock, just like Bar- I'm from Bar- Dogtown, Ray. though. Oh, I'm from yeah, Dogtown. The other I'm, part of the I'm continent. the other part, yeah, where they used to drop off all their dogs from Little Rock and everything. <laughs> Got some great guests on today's show and um, looking forward to We're going to have Carl Drake. He is with Hunter Specialties. And if you're wondering why we got Hunter Specialties on, I don't know if you know, but that is part of the uh, Strike King family now. Lou's and uh, Strike King and. Uh, Hunter Specialties is now part of that, and so anytime you need to talk to someone, you go to Valerie Dixon at Striking, and she can hook you up with anybody with Hunter Specialties. We're going to have him. Of course, we got the mountain man himself, Jim Spencer. He and his wife, Jill, just got back from turkey hunting in Hawaii, and so we want to talk a little bit about that. Charles was uh, relaying to me. I didn't know how turkeys got to Hawaii unless they were on the, uh, uh, the, the boat, the Essex, with Moby Dick. I didn't know how they got over there. <laughs> Like that, but uh, Charles says they were brought in over there by the King Ranch. Isn't that what you said? I think that's correct. Okay, King Ranch. Well, we'll find out about that. And then uh, Jim Ronquist is on. He's fired up. Uh, he's not going to play. He's not asking the duck call. No, no. Jim's a heck of a turkey hunter. Yeah, and we're, we're going to talk about it. He's excited times. about being on from, uh, of course, Rich and Tone. And then Brenda Valentine, the first lady of hunting. Does not miss many opportunities to tell about her love of turkey hunting, and we'll be get talking to her from uh, whatever the name of that booger holler or someplace <laughs> up there that she lives in. Where uh, actually, she, actually, this is the first time I think we've ever talked to her on a cell phone because you couldn't get reception. No reception. But now she must be someplace else because we're going to talk to her. Our good friend Keith Hickman from up at Paris Landing State Park. Uh, been the golf pro up there forever, but he's been a member of the Primos Pro Staff since 1998. And we're going to talk to Keith. And then uh, one of my good friends, a uh, member of the Bass Pro Shop, uh, Pro Staff members, Mike Giles out of Meridian, Mississippi. And uh, Mike's going to not only talk about his love for turkey hunting, he got a book out that I, I'm going to kind of pitch out a little bit here about the passions of the wild that's uh, – inspirational outdoor stories going to talk to mike but he actually killed a turkey on thursday morning so i'm looking forward to talking to him and then last but not least uh alex rutledge is usually on this show great christian man alex rutledge outdoors from up in missouri uh we're going to get one of his pro staff members jason burden will join us now ray glass can't be here uh he's on assignment i guess i don't know where he is but he's on assignment charles you got any idea Oh, he's, he's, yeah, he's getting ready for turkey season. That's right. Yeah. Okay. We won't mess that up. Uh, anyway, and then, of course, uh, Russell Ginn uh, is not with us because uh, he's got family responsibilities uh, this morning and won't be able to with us. And, folks, Russell is, an, of course, an inspiration to all of us because of the loss of the lower le- both lower legs and an explosion at the workplace. And uh, he has been making calls. There's his mentor sitting right over there is Charles Petrie. And Russell has a new name for his company, which I think is pretty cool. He's got a great logo. We're going to post it on lroutdoors.com. 
It's called the Peg Leg Custom Call Company, and it is pretty cool. He's got a turkey there with uh, prosthetics uh, down the lower legs, and uh, it's really cool. That, uh, he can take that, and uh, a lot of people would be down and out, but not Russell again. Uh, he is uh, quite a guy. So glad to have y'all. We got, we got and, and of course, Greg Ratliff is here. Uh, he's actually got on his uh, uh, headset right now because he knows what's coming. You know, uh, n- none of the rest of us have it, but uh, Greg looks forward to this every year. And and when we talk turkey hunting on this show and we go around the limb here, so to speak, uh, we know the dates. Uh, I know our season, the 31st, which is kind of sad in a way that it opens up on uh, Easter weekend. Uh, but, and youth uh, opens today. I know it's the youth today. Well, I'm still a youth. You know, but that's, <laughs> I'll be ready next Saturday. The youth are out there today, but uh, 31st for us, the Mississippi guys are already in the, they're in the woods, you know, and I've seen some reports and things like that. I used to buy that seven-day Mississippi license and to take part in, and I think it snowed three of the four days every time I'm down there, <laughs> you know. Uh, I think Mississippi needs to have start earlier in the south. I've, I've always said this, and and later in the north and somebody may agree to that so uh cooksy has brought weapons so yep. to speak you, you got your mouth different colors right uh we're going to go out on this first segment with some noise when we start making that did you do you turkey hunt john I, yeah larry i do turkey hunt i didn't uh, i came unarmed with any calls but uh i mean maybe uh bill can give me his uh, yeah give me his well i didn't here. know you know you might you just bring down one of your goose calls or something like that, you know, Good for this day. Huh? Good locator call, goose call. It is. It is. Well, you can slam your car door. That's a good locator, too, <laughs> if you if you got the right time and everything, right? Mm-hmm. I've uh, startled many of those like that off uh, off the roof, so to speak. All right, he's got one finger up. That means that's the number of the show where we got to get out of here. First segment. So we've introduced everybody in the room. No late additions. Wong won't pop in here like a lot of people think every time. He'll, but we're going to talk Bassmaster Classic on next week's show. Uh, Ron will be in, and we'll have Jordan Lee hopefully on the show. And I want to boast that I did pick Jordan Lee to win uh, back-to-back, only the third man in the history of the Bassmaster Classic to win it back-to-back. And he will be on next week's show if we can work it out and uh, look forward to that. So let's take a break. Let's make some noises, guys, when we come out of the break here. This is Outdoors with Larry Ray. We'll be right back. 